Hi, this is Justice with Tyler Pro. In this quick video, I'm going to talk about how I set up my camera in order to do Zoom calls and take notes. I just watched a video uh, inspired by Brett from OZ Tablet Review. So I'm going to show you his YouTube page here. This is Brett, OZ Tablet PC. And uh, he does really great content. If you guys if you're not subscribed to him yet on YouTube, I highly recommend it. Um, Brent does a really good job focusing on, on a lot of the same content that, that I do on this channel. A lot of tablet-based information that's going to be useful to you. So subscribe to Brett and uh, like his videos. So in that video, I talked about using the artist pad and the pen tool to turn your screen uh, transparent so that you can take notes while you're looking at whatever it is that they are um, showing on the Zoom or in your Zoom meeting or your video conference meeting. You can do a couple different levels of transparency here all the way through and then back to completely opaque. So this is a really good way for you to consume the video and take the notes. But as far as interacting back with your Zoom meeting, how do you do that in a way where you're not uh, recording the, the top portion of your face only? which uh, I, I won't do, I'd rather just turn my video off. But right now what I'm doing is I'm using my iPhone. I have an iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone, I have an iPhone 12 Pro, and I'm using an app on there to record this video. Now that um, I use almost the exact same process to do uh, video conferencing, and what I do is I install something, a little program called Droid Cam. Droid Cam, Let's go ahead and open this up right here, Droid Cam Client. If I click on this, this will open up a little tiny window. And we are not going to start it, so you're going to get your device IP from the app on your iPhone. Go to dev47apps.com. This link is also inside of the Droid Cam app on iOS. And I'm not sure if they have an Android version or not. I would assume with the name Droid Cam. Come on. All right. But Droid Cam Client. Download right there. The install is very, very simple and it's very small. Make sure your device IP. This will change from session to session sometimes. So pay attention to this. You're going to click start. You can adjust these different settings. And then when you're inside of a Zoom call, when you're selecting which camera, so you can choose front camera or back camera. This works with Skype. It works with Teams. It works with um, anything that allows you to choose between the front and back camera. Droid Cam Client will basically run a virtualized camera and allow you to choose that. So I can have my wireless phone in front on a um, just an, a phone holder, a tablet stand or whatever I'm using to hold my phone and have that take a quality video of my face at a decent angle as opposed to up my nostrils and can do my meeting that way. That way I can take notes uh, if I'm watching, because I can't see anything. I'm looking at the backside of my camera, the backside of my phone. I can't see the screen and I can't see the other person. So here, Droid Cam is recording me. And let's go over here and let's select one of Brett's videos. Okay, we're just gonna play this one. As a small business owner, it's easy to feel alone sometimes. I we're gonna mute. Okay, so let's pretend I'm talking to Brett. Hi, Brett. I like your computer whisperer shirt. Actually, it's pretty cool. I like seeing Brett's legs. I don't know why it's awkward that he's in like a polo shirt with buttons and shorts. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so here we're going to make this full screen. And we're having a Zoom meeting. And I have the artist pad up here. And I can see what he's doing. I can watch the screen. Uh, if I want, again, I can make this more transparent and I can take my notes. And when I want to talk back with him, instead of looking down here, if this is on a desk or somewhere else, I can actually look directly into the camera here in front and have a normal conversation at correct angles while using just my Surface Pro or whatever device you're using at the angle that's most comfortable here and not worry about the angle that's most comfortable for my camera setup. All right, you guys, that's it. I'm sure you will have questions. 
the two different ones I use for OBS Studio, I use OBS Camera, or I use Droid Cam, which is a wireless solution. Um, quality slightly down, but uh, it does a good job. Uh, for this type of thing, it does a really good job. If you have a Windows 10 tablet and a stylus, subscribe to this channel. It is made for you. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.